Welcome to a Wave a Day 2019 Spring Edition. You see this beach behind me? This is Culborough Beach, the east coast of Australia, about three hours south of Sydney. Arguably not the greatest conditions for surfing. I live right there, a stone's throw from the water. So what I want to do is every day for the month of October, I'm going to surf one wave at least, no matter what this beach gives me. It could be windy, it could be big, it could be small. I don't care. I'm going to catch a wave right here for you. Now, I'm not a very good surfer, but I have sponsorships with Global Surf Industries for surfboards, Ars and Wetsuits for wetsuits, and Bell Surf Wax for wax. So if you like the idea of seeing a kook take whatever he can get, come back daily for a Wave a Day 2019 Spring Edition. Hello, the internet. It is Thursday, the 3rd of October, 2019. Wave number three of my Wave a Day Project Spring Edition. Ooh, wee. Whoop, 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 whoop. Beautiful. Each day I come down at the same time, but because the tides always, well, the tides change with the moon, right? And it's always a little different each day. Now, each day the tide has progressively been further out. It's on the way up, but it's still at that point where it's low enough to get those good breaking waves on the sandbar. So, that being said, let's go surfing! Now I don't have the views or the subscribers to hire a cameraman to sit there on the beach and shoot me. So that's why I lock off an iPad just to get that little overall view and then I crop in on that later on. Don't wanna be alone. I stand alone. but I was taking the full length for winter. I had the full arms and full legs for winter, 3-2. This is a 3-2, but it's short arms, long legs. Ours and wetsuits. If you need a wetsuit, please do yourself a solid. Check the linky-poo in the description here and get 5% off an 
Mars and wetsuit shipping globally, and you will not be unimpressed, believe me. Look at this, look at this! You see, I don't think today was very good either. That's three days in a row where the swell has been too small to bring in any suitable ride over that little deep section. I don't want to sound despondent, but I'm hoping for one of two things tomorrow. Bigger swell, that's the main thing, a bigger swell. The tide being on the way out. I think we've reached the peak of the height, so it should be on the way out tomorrow. And ideally those two combinations Maybe I'll get a longer ride. Now if you want to see me get a better ride, come back tomorrow for Wave D Part 4! I hope you enjoyed that wave as much as I enjoyed surfing it. And by the way, if you want to pick up your own global surf industry surfboard, or an Arzen wetsuit, or some Bell Surf Wax, bam 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 bam! In the description there's a linky poo, you know what to do. Also, if you enjoyed this content and you think you might want to stick around the channel, hit the old subscribe button there. You can also check out yesterday's wave right here, and you can check out a random vlog of mine, may not be surf related, right here. And if you want to contribute financially to the channel, Patreon right there. Now what's tomorrow gonna bring?